it's going to introduce some new pianos that we've just finished over the last couple of months. And uh, as you would probably guess, things are a bit quiet in the piano industry generally at the moment. But that doesn't stop uh, my son and I still working through these beautiful instruments. Because uh, the climate suddenly changes and people think, right, it's time for a very good instrument for someone who's been learning for a while. And uh, the phone starts to ring and these beautiful instruments, one by one, go to their new homes. And that's lovely to be part of that. Richard Lippinson from Stuttgart. One of my dreams is to go to Stuttgart and, and walk the streets where these instruments were made. A lot of the factories have gone, of course, but it's in close proximity to the beautiful Black Forest regions of Germany where the timbers in these instruments, which are no longer available in any quantity now for piano making, uh, that's where these uh, beautiful timbers came from. Spruce, of course, for the sound boards, and that's why they have such a lovely tone and sustain. And for all other parts of the piano, beach for the action parts, the moving parts, because of its strength. Swiss pine for the keys, because once they're shaped into shape with these German pianos, that's where they stay, regardless of uh, humidity changes and things like that. So, gorgeous instruments, and of course the beautiful uh, veneer timbers, which came from walnut and other uh, beautiful timbers through the region. But here we have uh, Richard Lippinson, this one we've just finished uh, completely repinning, restringing all the hammers and dampers, all the important vital parts, and it's really rewarded me, this one, with its beautiful tone. I'll just let you hear tiny little bits, even under these circumstances, which is tricky recording, and then coming to you through your uh, computer speakers. Even so, you can still hear uh, an element of the gorgeous tone. Richard Lee.